I'm gonna make some gold leafed ornaments. These are just wooden ornaments that I picked up at Joann's, but you can get them at any craft store or online and just find a shape that you like. And um, I wanted to pick a fairly just simple shape. You'll also need a small artist brush, just something that's a flat or a wedge will be fine, something with synthetic bristles. Some adhesive size that's made for gold leaf. So you can't use just normal glue on this one. I have tried, it does not work. So you need specifically adhesive size for gold leaf. And then gold leaf or imitation gold leaf. Um, this is gold leaf that I bought um, from a wholesaler because I have done a lot of it in the past, but you can also just buy it at a craft store or online. I'll link to a few options. And I'm working just on a piece of cardboard, but that's just so I don't get stickiness on my work surface. The size looks a lot like a thin glue and I'm just gonna apply it in a thin layer and you'll be able to see it because it's wet, especially on a wood surface. And I'm only gonna do one side at a time because what you have to do is apply the size and let it dry. Okay, and this washes off of the brush with just soap and water and also off of your hands if they get sticky. And I'm going to let these dry until they are tacky. So I can see they're already starting to dry, but I'll let them dry for probably about 15 to 20 minutes and then we'll apply the gold leaf. Okay, the sizing is dry. And first of all, it looks dry. It dries clear and then it is tacky. And you can even, I think I've got some cat hairs stuck on mine. So this is why this glue works is because once it's dry, it's tacky. So then we're going to start putting on our leaf. Usually the leaf is in a nice square. This is one it looks like I've used some of, but that's fine. I'm not too particular, especially for a project like this. Okay, I'm using the tissue to pick up the leaf and I'm laying the leaf down and then I have this soft mop brush and I'm just using that to apply the gold leaf. And what I like to do is take some of the extra pieces from the border and fill in any of the little holes. Okay, and then once you have the gold all on, then you use the brush to brush off any of the excess pieces. This is why you may want to paint the ornaments first because sometimes some of the gold leaf will peel off even where you applied the size. but I'm gonna go back and see if I can get it to stick. And if I can't, then I'll just add a little bit more size there. Again, since these are ornaments, it doesn't matter too much if it's all applied in one nice smooth sheet. I actually kind of like having some variation. I think that looks more interesting. And when it comes to handmade ornaments, like that's what you want. You want it to look handmade. You don't want it to look like you bought it from a store. Now that one side is done, I'm gonna put sizing on the other side and I'm also gonna just touch up any little areas where, um, that I missed. So I'll get, I'll get the sides if I didn't get those before. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing on this side now. And because I did the edges, it's a little sticky. So 
So I'll add a ribbon and hang them up. You don't need to put, for something like this, you don't need to put any protective coating on them. If it's a piece of furniture or something like that, then you certainly would want to. But for something like this, this is all you need to do. These are done. They'll get a ribbon and be hung on the tree.